All right, and we're back with another one, guys. Let's see, Ali X. Let's come here. So today we're going to discuss, we are going to discuss drop shipping versus drop servicing or drop servicing versus drop shipping. Which one would win in a boxing match? Which one would win in the octagon? Which one would win in a tennis court? No, I'm joking with you. All right. So basically, we're going to do a quick comparison. All right. I'm going to explain the business models for you. And uh, you guys tell me what you think. All right. You tell me what you think. Okay. Which one can be more profitable for you in 2020 and beyond? Because for you guys, it's the new year. It's not the new year for me. All right. <clears throat> so is drop servicing more profitable? I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah at the beginning. And but hey, don't kill me. If you're watching this and you're a drop shipper, I promise you by the end of this video, you're gonna be like your finger's gonna be paralyzed from hitting the like, share, and subscribe button like just repeatedly. Like it's just gonna be a nub. You're gonna be like, oh snap, he, he made so much sense with that. Now watch, just make sure you watch to the end. Okay, so we all know your model. The drop shipping model is not going out of style because is you know a lot of people say drop shipping is dead, and even the title of this says in game. I'm not talking about is in game for drop shipping. I'm talking about is in game for drop shippers. Now let me explain what I mean by that. Is people have shiny object syndrome, and even when something works. And if something comes along and it works better or faster or easier or cheaper, people jump ship. And that that's understandable. I understand. Like, it's about being in the green, not being in the red. It's about profit. But you also want to be consistent with things. But if you see something that come along that just make 10 times more, more sense, you don't want to stay with a sinking ship. You don't want to be the MySpace when facebook comes along you you know what i'm saying like for real you don't want to be myspace right <laughs> who wants to be myspace no offense because i used you know i was on myspace just like those of you who are over the age of 18. <laughs> but anyway um so we're gonna start with drop shipping you already know what it is you take something from one site and you sell it at a higher markup on a different site Okay, so for for instance, some people would take products from um, from Amazon because you'll get it cheaper over here, and you can sell it on eBay. Or some people would take products from AliExpress or Alibaba for super cheaper. You can get them in bulk and all of that stuff like that. Or you can find your own wholesaler or distribution company and make a deal with them. So, like for instance, this watch right here or <laughs> this thing right here look 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 look. it's a 46 sold <laughs> okay 82 sold for this one this is more like it i don't even know what it is but people love electronics they love glasses it tells you 260 sold of this you can put up a facebook ad hey people going to the beach you're gonna need shades blah 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 hey you got a business meeting you'll look fresh with this you know i don't even know what this is but women while your man are out of town, you don't have to cheat. Click the learn more button. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So my point is you would mark this up to 15 bucks or I would mark it up to probably around 20 or something. You guys understand? So that's the drop shipping model in a nutshell. So you will put this on your site or, or any of these on your site and you will just mark them up. You don't have to have any inventory at your house. Uh, you don't have to go out and package anything and send it off or anything like that with that model. Drop shipping was like, ooh, in 2012. And in a couple years after that, it was like, oh, ooh. Like it was something new, even though like all of the stores, Walmart, all of them do that. They get it somewhere from cheap and then they mark it up. You see what I'm saying? So it's a model that's been around forever. That's why I said drop shipping. The model isn't going anywhere, but the fad, the the hype is it's time for it to be gone. There's something far more powerful called drop servicing. 
Now, drop servicing is the same thing. You're still going to mark up, <clears throat> but now you're going to mark up services instead of products. Okay, so it's some people teaching drop servicing as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm like come out of here. So because most of y'all watching this are drop shippers, you already know what drop shipping is. So I have to know any more about drop ship, uh, uh, drop shipping. All right. Uh, let me come over and pause this software. I got it running. I don't want it to start messing up. All right. But anyway, I ain't got to tell you guys what drop shipping is. You're pretty much doing that if you're watching this. All right. So now we're going to talk about drop servicing the way that other people teach it. Okay. So uh, this is how people are teaching drop servicing. So you'll put a gig you know you want to take one of the most popular gigs you know that are on like fiverr and upwork or craigslist or something like that and then you mark it up all right so what happens is like okay and here's a whole bunch of different services you can do and blah 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 translation resume cover letters music transfer all, all of this stuff you guys know what fiverr is too if you're a marketer i'm pretty sure so the point is, like, when you come here, you can get some for five bucks. What what these drop servicers are teaching is Fiverr and Upwork. OK, so. You can put up a gig, let's say this is 10 bucks, you can mark it for 25 and then you'll get the profit out of that. You'll get the difference out of that. And that's cool and everything. But. Like when you put gigs on Fiverr, unless you're driving traffic to them, or unless you found some golden request or something like that, it takes a couple of weeks for people to even start uh, putting impressions on your ad. Uh, I mean, for on your gig, like it takes a second for people to see it. And if you're on Upwork, it's even more competitive. You know, you can get clients and all of that stuff off Upwork and all of that. But the whole goal, first of all, is to not get clients. I don't teach you guys to get clients any damn more. OK, so uh, unless you just ask me, I'll, I'll show you. But my I want you guys to start doing drop servicing. It's far more profitable. You don't need a yes from anybody. You don't even you don't need a, a distributor. <laughs> you don't need inventory or you can't run out. It's no out of stock. Uh, that you can put on the site for drop servicing. So it's just so many more powerful benefits and everything, okay? So most people will have you come here and mark it up, but Fiverr is just now starting to allow you to mark your prices up to like thousand or more or something like that. But let's say you're drop servicing. You would only be able to mark it up a little bit before it's like noticeable by cheap marketers. Like I said, most of the traffic that comes to this site or just cheap marketers from YouTube and you know uh, and from the internet that's just like trying to get something done real quick and easy and cheap. Like, hey, I just want a YouTube cover and a Facebook channel, you know, uh, you know, YouTube channel art, ten bucks. You know, I just want that. You know what I'm saying? So if you're trying to market up to 30, 40, 50 and stuff, they like, uh uh, man. So <laughs> so my point is it's way harder to make a profit when you drop servicing like that. But since you guys are being introduced to drop servicing right now, if you're new to drop servicing, or even if you've been doing drop servicing before, you're gonna get reintroduced to the proper way of doing drop servicing the way you should be doing it. You should be doing it not like Fiverr, you should be doing it more like Groupon. Now, I'm gonna explain what I mean by that, okay? Um, look at stuff like this okay so <clears throat> this gig was 15 i say gig this service is a 1500 dollar service this one is a 900 dollar service now fiverr i mean I keep groupon makes them mark it all the way down and groupon takes a cut out of it see we're not going to do it like groupon but even if you did it this way you'll still get a bigger profit out of it than if you were doing some Fiverr gig because the services on here are way more expensive than just some cheap fiber gigs. Like you can go after like plastic surgery and things like that. So these procedures and stuff can be up in the tens to twenty thousand dollars and everything like that. So my point is if you took this same procedure off of here 
and put it on your site and just marked it up another thousand dollars and you know how to get traffic more than the actual plastic surgeon and everything like that they won't even notice that so you'll get a thousand dollar profit off of that you can even mark it up let's say it's a brazilian butt lift all right a brazilian butt lift is freaking what between five to ten thousand dollars if done properly and not illegally <laughs> okay so then it could be like five ten thousand dollars so you can mark it up let's say you let's say your plastic surgeon does it for five thousand dollars you can mark it up to ten and nobody would care because if 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 a customer googles how much it costs they're going to see that it's between five and ten so even if your plastic surgeon his price is five if you mark it up another five, nobody notices, nobody cares. So they pay you, you send the patient to the damn plastic surgeon and the $5,000, the end. You see what I'm saying? You, you, It's very simple. So that's called drop service. And I teach high ticket drop service. And in the last video, uh, I was just talking about high ticket drop service. And if you didn't see that one, go back and watch it. It's super supreme powerful. And this is why you want to freaking drop service high ticket stuff so let's come to this site like i i'm not i'm not gonna stay on here so we're gonna search cars and i'm just gonna show you once again that it's set up just like fiber so don't think that people want to pay thousands and thousands of dollars online look at this it's set up just like fiber and it's set up just like Groupon. They don't hide their freaking prices, y'all. They don't hide the prices. So you can mark this up to 30,000. You can mark this one up to 20,000. You can mark this one up to 23, 24, 25, whatever you want to, and, and clone this site. Like you can literally just clone the site and mark the prices up. And it's Fiverr gigs for that. Like you can just have somebody on Fiverr clone it. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you guys how you can just have a directory built out for you. Like you can have your own classified. This is called a classified site. OK, kind of like Craigslist and blah, 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 directory sites and stuff like that. So where they can search, make and model. And you can just have a VA just transfer the best deals on the Internet over to your site and start running the traffic, start ranking for these terms and everything like that. Within a week's time, you can have your first sale. Mark this one up to $30,000, man. Mark it up to 30,000, mark this one up to 20. Okay, because this is luxury right here. So I will mark this one up to 30,000. That's actually a good deal, you know? <laughs> so 30,000, this one will be 25, because it's a 2018 and people will pay it and you'll get like so like i was saying like i was saying in another video with a fiber gig you with five dollars in order to make a thousand dollars a week you would have to be popping on fiber like you would have to be extremely popular look at this man if you click on it let me let me just show you why that model um isn't that lucrative i'm gonna find a person that's been on here watch this now it, you can make money on Fiverr. There's people that's made hundreds of thousands of dollars on Fiverr. I'm not saying you can't, because a lot of you in the comments like, "I've made money on Fiverr." I have too. I made money on her too. Look at this. He's been a member since 2015. Now he might have some other gigs that's uh, made money. What other gigs does he have? More services by him. But look, 2015. This gig only has nine. This one has 65. This is the more popular one. But 65 at $15 since 2015? Come on, man. 14, uh, 30, 36, 41, and blah, blah, blah. My point is, in order to make thousands of dollars in a year, like this is less than minimum wage. This is less than minimum, like way less than minimum wage since 2015. Now, if he did that this year, not, not 2020, but if he did that in 2019 itself and all of that, then cool. But he's been a member since 2015 and he's not the only one like that. If you go to everybody's account, they've been a member for a while. If you're not running paid ads to your fiber gigs and you're just dealing with organic and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to go viral which is service because everybody is doing the exact same thing and they're competing with price. 
You see what I'm saying? So like this is not the right way to do drop servicing. I'm not bashing anybody to do it and you can make money with it and everything like that. That's cool. But check this out. I'm teaching you guys how to do it with yachts and these yachts. <laughs> some of these yachts is like eighteen thousand dollars for the week. All right. Some of these yachts is fifty five hundred for the night and you can mark that up a couple thousand. And it could get paid for straight through your site. Boom. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So why the hell would you be doing drop servicing on Fiverr? And why would you still be doing drop shipping with AliExpress, Alibaba, and all the Ali's, Muhammad Ali? No, I'm just playing. Uh, why would you still be doing all of that in 2020? It's 2020. It's not just a new year. It's supposed to be a new you. You're supposed to upgrade. Now, I'm not bashing those things if they took you out of the hood. Like I said in the last video, if they helped you get where you are today, that's good. But now you're supposed to elevate yourself. If it's something that comes along that's more profitable, um, easier to set up, that's going to be extremely powerful, long time, and it helps take the shackles off your neck. All right. Like literally, like a lot of these fire people still got jobs trying to get off and everything like that. And drop shipping, like you run out of inventory or, or distribution problems and all of this extra stuff. Come on, man. What if your goal is $1,000 a week? I used this example in the last video. If your goal is $1,000 a week and your product is only 100 bucks, or you're only getting a $100 profit, I'll say that, then you got to get 10 sales. And if you're not positioned correctly on the internet, as you can see, is kind of hard to even get freaking freaking 10 sales in a week. You see, some of these people have been on here since 2015 and still don't have 10 sales. So, so my point is, and then if you're doing paid traffic, that $100 profit ain't even $100 profit. So to get to $1,000 a week is just some BS, yo. You know what I'm saying? So what if you can sell one car a week? organically not even paid traffic not even paid traffic you can sell one car a week you don't have to have a car lot <laughs> you don't have to drive the car to anybody you don't have to show me the car facts <laughs> you don't have to do any of that type of stuff you don't have to go to any auctions to pick anything up you literally just paste this picture onto your directory site and you mark this to 30 instead of 25. The end. You start running traffic. They pay through the site or through your phone operator that I teach you how to deal with. You keep your cut. You order, or not you in particular, your VA orders this. Look, free shipping. Free shipping like a freaking, like a, a freaking Amazon product. This is, I mean, you can buy cars off of Amazon. So my point is, you guys need to be high high ticket, high ticket drop servicing, man. Like high ticket. Even if you drop shipping, do like do high ticket. You know, do super supreme high ticket, not no cheap shit. I'm talking about private jet charters and uh, jets for sale and, and 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 stuff like that. If you're gonna go hard, go hard. Talk about jewelry, like hip hop jewelry and. And, and and movie jewelry and stuff rank for these things run traffic to these things like why are you running traffic to a baby bottle or, or a binky or or, or or some nike shoes or some crap like that you're only gonna get three bucks and like ha, i made a sale i did make money online come on man wake up <laughs> like how hard was it for you to get that first sale do you want it to continue being hard over and over or would you like to even if you got lucky let's say you got lucky if you got lucky with something like this, that's five to ten thousand dollar luck conversion. That would be worth it to figure out how you like got lucky, like so you can start doing it on purpose. If you got lucky with a Fiverr gig, or somebody just organically found you on Fiverr, you're not even sure if you're showing up and all of that stuff. You get that one, and you get ten. $20 profit or even a $100 profit. Now you're like wondering when you're going to get the next one, when you're going to get the next one. If I get one conversion from this private jet charter, 
based off of middle class monthly income and rent and all of that stuff like that, I'll be able to cover all of that off of one. Now tell me you still should be doing drop shipping. Tell me you should still be doing Fiverr, drop servicing, or any of that type of stuff. Come on, man. It is time to upgrade. It's time to attack black. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let me know how y'all feeling in the comments. You know what I'm saying? You're watching this from YouTube or Facebook, you know. Let me know how you feeling. Like, do what what do you guys think? <laughs> do you think you should still be drop shipping <clears throat> in 2020? Now look, a lot of you guys have put a lot of time and money into it. So What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, I saw the It movie. He always did it. He'll start talking to him. Then he'll it. And then get back to it. <laughs> so I was trying to pull that on y'all. But yeah, a lot of y'all didn't put a lot of money into it. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of time into it, Facebook ads into it, build up whole pages and groups about it and everything like that. I don't care. What you need to do is let your followings and all of these people know that you're human too. And if something new comes aside, or guess what? Just autopilot that. How about that? I'm talking about your actual effort, your effort hours. Everybody has effort hours during the day. Like all of my CPA marketing stuff, that's, that's set up already. Anything I do with like affiliate marketing and all of that, that's set up already. I don't put any day, day uh, energy into that. I like to teach and coach and all of that stuff with my day. You understand? So I'm not going to put any energy into those things. That's not worth my time right now. But drop servicing, the profits are like, you know, the potential is, I'm showing you guys some of my, my best niches right here, like some classical, like <laughs> some real high level stuff, billionaire type stuff. Like I, I talk with billionaires. I talk with multi, multi, multi millionaires just by switching niches, just by switching what I'm selling, you get to bump and make connections with people you wouldn't make a connection with if you're just doing CPA marketing or regular drop shipping. This puts you in an entirely different realm and tax bracket. And it's actually easier. Ranking for a yacht rental is 10 times easier than ranking for baby bottle. <laughs> ranking for yacht rental is 10 times easier than ranking for SEO in Miami. <laughs> like, but everybody is stuck on all of that extra stuff. Look, y'all gotta be different. Be different. You know what I'm saying? And right now, this is ground level with uh drop servicing as a, a, a fad or if you want to call it that because the actual model for drop servicing has been around for hundreds of years just like drop shipping uh it just didn't have an actual name or label on it so it's been around so if you <laughs> tell me yo in the comments drop servicing versus drop shipping who wins who wins this battle like if you had to pick a character on mortal Kombat, soul caliber i'm telling my age or, or, or freaking Street Fighter or, 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 or any of those, like who would be drop shipping and who would be drop servicing <laughs> and who would win? Like who, right, you all get, who would win, you know? Who would win between drop shipping and drop servicing if they were fighters? Or how about this? Pick your favorite UFC fighter or boxer or something. Who would be Floyd Mayweather and who would be J uh, Zab Judah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, who, who, who would win? Like, I'm going with drop servicing because it's it is is the potential for outsourcing and delegation is super more simple than it is with drop shipping. Uh, it's similar processes, but it's is 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 easier. The uh, getting started is way way simpler and cheaper. Uh. It's just more fun. I'm just going to be real with you. That's why I'm even spending my time doing it. Because like I said, I got a school. I got a transportation company. Uh, I got a, a cable slash internet company. Um, 
I'm doing other things. So for me to even for this to even catch my eyes, like this is something I like. This is awesome right here. It's just it's just it's just awesome, man. Yeah. So I want y'all to. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it the correct way, and I'm not gonna charge you. Okay, I'm not gonna charge you to teach you or anything like that. But this is where that link in the description goes to. I'm going to set you guys up uh, with the model that I'm doing, which is like limos. Okay, so let me show you uh, party. Place. All right, so hold on, I made a new one. I made the upgrade for you guys. Party bus. St. Louis. Where's that pair? All right. <clears throat> All righty. So once you get in here, I'll be able to transfer this one over to you. So this is going to come with everything that I use to beat out every party bus company in St. Louis. Whether I'm ranking number one or ranking at the bottom, when people come to this site, the irresistible offers that I offer is 10 times better than anybody else. Everybody else just have their price on the site or they don't have their prices on the site. They just say call and find out or something like that. Us, we have crafted the offer. When you know that the offer is what matters, like getting the traffic and all of that stuff is easy. But getting people to make a move when they get to your site is the part that you should be worried about once people come to my sites they make a move even if they don't have the money they like oh snap where can i get a loan from whose credit card can i steal who can i rob no i'm fine don't ever rob anybody to, to do something with me all right please don't all right <laughs> but anyway so let's look at it we're gonna break it down and you'll see why drop servicing the way that i teach it it just works and party bus this is another niche where people spend thousands of dollars without caring because it's the you know it's a special occasion so that's another thing is is about event marketing you want to get into event marketing if it's a holiday if it's some kind of special occasion somebody's birthday or something you can make a lot of money with that all right so we had i'm going to give you the facebook ads and everything for this i'm just going to switch everything over to you all right uh only thing you're going to this. You don't need a credit card for it. you. Just I'm gonna you make a free free account and I'm gonna switch it over to you. You're gonna start your your SEO, your ads, and everything by before the end of the week. Like you'll have uh, sales in your freaking city. Just get to work, all right? And you have direct contact with me too. All right, so book your party bus today. I took St. Louis off, uh, but book your book your party bus today and get 10% off all future trips. Now, if you go and look in St. Louis, you'll see it doesn't have any irresistible offers on the sites. When you go to the site, it just got the vehicles and it just says, call us. So being that I'm a marketer first, I knew how to like stand out. Like I knew that, okay, I just pretty my stuff up a little bit more then I don't even have to be ranking. Like, I haven't even paid for SEO for this yet and everything like that. And I'm still, like, it's starting to rank itself because of how much traffic is going, uh, because of how many people are actually uh, booking on there. Like, the analytics, if you look at the analytics, it's crazy. It's people on there and they're just, they're opting in and, and, and they're just like, oh, snap. And you could tell they're telling other people about it because I'm getting a lot of referral traffic as well. So that's why the offer is what counts. They go and tell people about this. No other party bus company is doing this. So if they're booking their party bus for their birthday today, this is how it works. If it's your birthday today, like when they opt in, it's going to ask them what's the special occasion. They're going to say it's their birthday. It's going to say, OK, well, guess what? You book today, you're going to get 10 percent off all future birthdays. So you want to tailor it to whatever reason, whether it's an anniversary or blah, blah, blah. Book your party bus today and get 10% off all future uh, birthdays, okay? On top of that, you'll get an eight days, seven nights family vacation on us through our, tra our travel agency partner. Now, I'm sorry, but you ain't getting that with a baby bottle from Amazon. And you're definitely not getting that from a Fiverr gig. 
but we can do this with local businesses, with a local services and through my connections and everything. And I'm also going to show you guys how to do that and offer that as well. So just make sure you ask me and, and check it out and everything like that. OK, so these are some of the places they're going to go. Claim the trip of your choice to Fiji, Colombia, Sweden, Hawaii, Cancun, Las Vegas, Argentina, Chile, Thailand, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Brazil, Spain, Indonesia. And there's more places as well. Some of the places are in America, too. All right. But it's, it's just awesome because we got the connections through the travel agencies and everything. So if you're going through St. Louis and you you're choosing based off price at first, but you come here and you see that you're going to get 10 percent off all future trips. That's the first irresistible offer. Then you get to see this the free family not just yourself is a family vacation just for booking today wouldn't you pay a little bit extra more okay so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about and that's not even it all right so this is one of the most popular ones that's why i put this one at the top 28 passenger four hour block now keep in mind i own an actual uh company as well as far as like party buses and limos and everything like that but this right here this is drop servicing this isn't going to me, okay? All right, so this guy right here, this partner right here I got, he's only charging 500 for a four hour block. He's either five or four, I think. But I would just say 500. So that gives me a four hour, I mean, a $400 profit. I don't have to pick up anybody. I don't have to pay any fueling. I don't have to have any vehicles or anything like that and we get at least three to four requests for this a week and this is just one city so it's about what was 1600 or, or, or something like that right okay so this is why they don't care about the inside they don't even ask for pictures <laughs> 10 percent off all future bookings 300 dollar restaurant voucher so while they're out cruising the city having fun and everything they can stop downtown and get their hot wings their buffalo wings or, you know what i'm saying they they nachos they you know what I'm saying whatever they doing for their birthday to have fun we actually giving them a 300 dollars restaurant voucher now icing on a cake free family vacation bonus so click to call for this deal so like i said in the other video i say for this deal in particular and this is exactly what they do. Reason why they do it is because it's not negotiable. It says this deal. That means when they call and my person answer the phone, they're not going to try to negotiate or talk down because they see call for this deal. Even the opt in says the exact same thing. And I'm going to show you the emails. OK, so let's stroll down. You'll see another one. 35 passenger four hour block. This is because it's, you know, raised the price because it's 35 passenger. 1247. Okay. And this guy is doing it for 600. 600. So that's a $647 profit. $647 profit. And that's very popular as well. Stroll down. 30 passenger four hour block. 1075. That's another one that I got all just for 500. Stroll down, 18 passenger, 1300, four hour block. All of them, you notice all of them have the same benefits and features. When I say benefits and features, most people thought I was going to be talking about it has the LED lights. It has a jacuzzi pool and all of that stuff. And I used to have that on the site. Like if I show you the other site, it got all of that. But then I noticed people didn't give a damn. Like when they called, they was, they was talking about this. Like I was listening in on the calls. Cause I had a cause recorded and they was talking about like, so if I, you know, book today, I get 10% next year. Cause what people realize is that like, that's why I say you want to do event marketing and I'm going to give you Facebook ads and everything for event marketing because every year is somebody's birthday. Every year somebody's getting married or if they got married this year, they're going to have an anniversary next year. Every year people are getting gra uh, graduating every year is something to celebrate a raise or something like that. So my point is, you can create recurring customers immediately rather than them coming back and choosing somebody else next year. They're going to remember 
all of this stuff. They're going to put all of this on their Instagram, free promotion for you, free word of mouth marketing for you, referrals for you. Think about it. Think about that. When they go and take an actual family vacation given to them from the freaking place where they had fun at anyway, like even if we did the 10 percent off all future bookings, that's still enough to like for them to tell their friends like, oh, I got 10 percent off forever. Like, you know how it is when you got discounts at a clothing store or something. You tell all your partners about it. Right. Then they get the three hundred dollar restaurant voucher. So they pretty much make back the profit that I get or whatever. But that doesn't come out of my pocket. This, that's why it's good to have connections, network with people and everything like that. You can make connections with travel companies. You can make connections with moving companies. You can make connections and give people free. If you know how to market and do advertising, think about it. Like, who is your customer? Like with me, like the people that I like working with the most are realtors. So I was like, okay, well, in order for me to position myself differently from any other SEO or marketer, how can I help realtors clients more than any other marketer would dare to? Okay. So I'm not just going to generate leads for realtors or anything. I'm going to help their actual clients, their buyers and sellers. So when, when, when a lead comes in, they also get the, the, uh, we send them on a buyer or a seller vacation. We also, uh, I make connections. So that's my connection with the travel agency. Then my next connection I make is with moving companies. So I do free marketing for travel agencies, free marketing for moving companies, just so I can have the connections for my freaking um, um, uh, realtors, uh, buyers and sellers. I make connections with furniture and rental companies so that I can get them uh, the buyer and the seller uh, discounts or free furniture when they move into the new house. I do all of that just so that I can position myself. I am a profit positioning professor. So they get um, a free cable and internet through me because I own a cable and internet company. I can do that, right? So it's about connections, being connected. So when it comes to a realtor, I'm like a a, a, a guy pretty much because I take don't only just take care of them. I can take a lead that's not pre-approved or not qualified, but since I can position my offer, they'll buy the house any damn way because they're going to get moved in, packed and moved in for free. They're going to get discounts or free furniture. They're going to get a buyer or seller vacation, and they're going to get a voucher to fill their fridge for the first month and the free cable for life. So who the hell would you go with when there's another agent just saying, here, let me give you the keys to the house and they leave you. So this is why realtors deal with me over anybody else. It doesn't matter if they know you. If I come into place, if I come in, in into, the, into the place, they're going to choose me. So this is why drop servicing is so easy for me, too, because I position the offer, the offer, like everybody's, should I do Facebook ads? Should I do YouTube ads? Just get people to the site. That ain't even what you're supposed to be worried about. You should be worried about when they get to the site, will they pay? And how I set it up, they pay. They can go to this dude's main site. They can go to this site and it's going to say $500. It's going to say that or $600. And then they're going to be like, what? Hold on. But but they'll only get this stuff if they pay through me. That's why profit positioning is what you need to be paying attention to. That's a combination of visibility and refining your offer. So yes, you need SEO for profit, uh, you know, positioning. So you be because you got to be positioning visibly. For a profit, so it takes the offer and it takes your visibility. You gotta, you know, how to know how to rank, and you gotta know how to get people to convert. So the offer and the ranking, that's all you need. If you can perfect those two, and you don't even have to rank. It, like I told you, I'm, if I'm not even ranking number one in St. Louis, but when people do come to this site, Oh, they the dwell the dwell time on the site ranks it for me. Like it's moving up the snack pack easily because of like people just be on here like 
for real? You know what I'm saying? And and just stay on there. They don't come on here, hmm, look at this, look at the prices and then click off. They don't do that with me. They be like trying to re like 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 reverse engineer, like how can he do this? You know what I'm saying? Like and then they have to make a call. They gotta make a call. All right. So when you uh go to the link description, just sign up right here. Then it's gonna have a number in the description as well. That's the number that goes to my school, but the texts are far to me. So text that number that you see in the description if you're watching this from uh, YouTube, if you're watching this from Facebook, it should be in a chat or in the post or something. You just text drop servicing set up and I will get you set up. Uh, you're going to have the ads. You're going to have the landing pages. You're going to have uh, directories. You're going to have everything you need. You're going to have everything you need, even SEO training to be able to position yourself to where you can start getting profits this damn week. And I'm talking about high ticket profits. I'm talking about thousands of dollars profits that you can start getting this damn week. So in the battle between drop shipping and drop servicing, who do you say? Put it in the comments. Love you guys. If you're watching this from YouTube, go ahead and make sure you just cruise on over and say, wow, hit that damn subscription. Don't be stingy, man. Like just, just even if your mind don't agree with your fingers, just, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Hit the subscription. Hit the like button. Share this with anybody that's drop shipping or a praiser of drop shipping or anybody that's drop service in the wrong way. I mean, and when I say the wrong way, you can make money doing it the other ways, but this is worth more of your time. Okay? So, yeah, you know, I want to see you guys in the next video. So go ahead and hit the subscription and then go ahead and share this to your page so you can watch it again. But first, you need to go ahead and go to the link in the description so I get it set up for free. Transfer everything over to you so you can get to making money right about now. See you in the next video. I love you.